God loves the human body. God loves the material world. He created it out of nothing. If you look at the material world from the moment of that big bang, that moment of creation, anthropologically, it just seems like it seems like the whole universe was like a, an arrow shot from God's quiver with the target being you, that he made the whole universe just so you could be. He loves the material world, and he loves the humanness, the human body. He even became human. And when he died and he was resurrected, he remained with a glorified body. He could eat. He could drink. Um, so we're going to talk about total human optimization. We're going to talk about your physical wellness. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. You know, I'm Ukrainian, Doc, and we only have really one wise proverb as Ukrainians. A hungry Ukrainian is a mad Ukrainian. That's our total wisdom. <laughs> and I lived that until I went ketogenic. Let's, let's, let's switch from the, the, the regimen of eating and talk about supplementing it with, with walking or, 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 or exercise and, and flexibility training. Let's, let's, let's switch to that side now. Yep, excellent. So yeah, when you, when you look at just what is one thing that affects every system of the body in a positive way, it's exercise. It's the ability to move, to be able to help with getting good blood flow, circulation. I like to say again, what's the most important nutrient of the body? You may think magnesium, calcium. Endorphins. It's oxygen. Oxygen, okay. <laughs> it's oxygen. It's one of those, new, those elements that you talked about when it came to the Big Bang that our Earth is created of, one of the most abundant uh, uh, um, elements on the, the face of this Earth. What you want in a ketogenic diet, you want to be able to have the, you don't want processed foods. Processed foods, what they do in processed foods is that they literally are taking out the fiber from the processed food. And so when you take out the fiber from a food, like that white pasta, what goes on is that it immediately absorbs into sugar into the body. So a pasta, you might as well be taking a spoonful of sugar at the same, it, it's equivalent to a, a, a bowl of pasta or a Coca-Cola because all it is is a sugar that's rapidly going into the system. Well, let's talk about that. So as, as a strategy, when I sit down at the table, I can take a quarter of a piece of bread and put real butter on it. Yep. And I can be happy with that. But when I go out to eat for breakfast, which my wife and I love to do, uh, she orders the omelet. And I order usually eggs and sausage and some hash browns. Yep. So the first thing I do is I take those hash browns and take about three quarters of them off the plate, put them on my little car, you know, put them on a separate plate. Perfect. And I, and I may take a little slice. We love to eat uh, bread crust, by the way. It's kind of funny how you can develop these habits. But there's a strategy. As soon as you sit down, you look at your plate, take off the bad sugar carbs. Good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash bear Wozniak deep adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell. 